what a crazy cult anyway guys I'm getting tired really I have many hours today and as I say uh, uh, yesterday uh, shaitan he did piss in my ears as the prophet peace upon him he says you know the prophet he is the best doctor I was trying to find out why after I took a shower why I have a liquid in my ear and I could not find an answer to be honest with you I was wondering where the water came from where I was I was in the shower but in the shower there's no water we are Arab we take shower with sand so where the water is coming from and then I remember that the Prophet said that shaitan be in the ears of a Muslim but I'm not a Muslim maybe shaitan he because I speak too much about Islam he thought I'm a Muslim guys can somebody try to see if there is a smell in my ear now from the person dude by the way do you think that I smell nothing <laughs> nothing nothing smell bad why shaitan don't smell shaitan smell uh, uh, the best smell not bad I wish I can record the shaitan holding his uh, willy and pissing in my ears and I will post it on YouTube you can imagine how many billion they will watch my video like imagine Christian Prince shaitan pissing in his ears and the video and shaitan is holding his penis and and Christian Prince like what the heck in my ears you know and for sure there's audio because you know we can install a microphone inside the ear to make you hear the sound of the pee, -pee. And you will not believe it how many people will watch the video and how many people will convert to Islam after that by the way the Prophet he said too that his tone sleep in your nose yeah makes sense actually if you sleep in the nose where you will be what is the most closed area and look at your ears they look like a toilet seat let's see the Prophet he ordered the Muslims to clean their nose in the morning why because shaitan he sleep in your nose the messenger of Allah said if any of you roses from sleep and they perform ablution he should wash his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out thrice 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 in the nose how disgusting because Satan has stayed in the upper part of his nose all night I mean guys look at this disaster shaitan he cannot find a place to have his cafe except the upper nose of the Muslim the poor Muslim, he is sleeping, snoring, and Shaitan is sitting, putting a leg in the top of the other one in his upper nose. Imagine if we can record that. Just imagine. And you are telling me that Muhammad don't have high IQ? By the way, this is a true story, but please don't tell anyone just between me and you and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, I mean, just keep it around. I mean, just local. Once uh, this is a true story, brother. A brother, when I was a child, my mother she opened the room and she told me, Why you have your shoes in your nose? I opened my eyes and I said to her, What shoes, mama? She said, I see Sus in your nose coming out. And that was Shaitan, his legs is coming out. But sadly, brother, at that time we don't have video camera to record for you or even a cell phone. And by the way, this is a true story. Shaitan, he sleep in the upper. I mean, why the upper? What about the lower? He don't like it there. What is the point of the upper? Any Muslim want to tell us? Not only that, <clears throat> the Prophet he warned us from yawning, and he encouraged us to do sneezing. The Messenger of Allah said, "The sneeze is from Allah." <laughs> 
uh, guys uh, Allah saying hello to you I just received this sneeze from Allah okay this is again from Allah true story and then he says and the yawn is from the shaitan <laughs> shaitan he just give me yawn actually think about it actually it's like a poetry the yawn is from the shaitan wow let me sing it the yawn is from the shaitan and I do not know what is the Adhan when the Adhan is raised up Shaitan he started farting up and yes the Yan is from the Shaitan and here we go meet Quran so Muhammad is the discovery guy who come with the conclusion that Shaitan when you yawn, it's from him from him and not only this look what Muhammad said so when one of you he let, yawns let him cover his mouth by the way the Muslim they have an article about the Prophet teaching a, a very important ethic and hygiene so that we do not spread diseases how Muhammad 1400 years ago he says that he ordered us to cover our mouth but they will not tell you that the Prophet he says that because he believes shaitan is going to piss in your in your mouth and he's going to go inside and he's going to laugh at you read with me when one of you yawn let him cover his mouth with his hand and this is what the Muslims they quote for you only this part only this part this is the only part is important the rest of the story hide it and then they write a long article brothers and sisters according to science today it's proven by doctors that the best healthy habit is to cover your mouth by a tissue or by your hands when you sneeze or when you yawn because that will spread diseases and bacteria. but this is not what the prophet was saying the prophet was actually talking about yawning and the purpose of that he said for when he says ah oh, ah oh, you shaitan love from inside his opening ha, 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 ha. From where? From inside his opening. Shaitan, he jump inside your mouth. The second you sneeze, Shaitan, he jump inside your mouth and he start laughing. And you are telling me that your prophet don't have a high IQ? For sure, you have to have a very high IQ to believe in this. Where is the guys from Nigeria? Hachu? The second you say Hachu, Shaitan, he jump inside your mouth and he start laughing. And by the way, in different hadith, Muhammad, he says, Allah, he loved those who do sneeze. What the heck? Actually, in the same hadith. And indeed, Allah loves the sneeze. And he dislike the yawn. If, 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 if. I mean, this God is really wonderful. When you sneeze, when you have a cold, Allah he is so excited, especially in, cold, in winter. I mean, I can imagine how happy now Allah is in January, February. I mean, this in, in July, the people are, it's hot, people are yawning. Allah is so upset. Yeah, and I like it when he say indeed. I mean, look at this indeed, indeed. Indeed, Allah love those who sneeze and dislike those who yawn. The prophet said, Allah likes sneezing and dislike yawning. So if someone sneeze, then praise Allah, etc. <clears throat> uh, I know what to say, man. Any Muslim with high Q? And actually enter now because especially I have this water in my ear as I told you shaitan he pissed on my ears I mean <laughs> you tell me Muhammad is a liar here we go <laughs> he deserve it he sent the shaitan and he pissed in your ears and now what you can do about it and you know it's annoying like I, I uh, 
because you don't have a balance in your ears it's in the in the in the left one so now you feel like you are half deaf it's almost like I hear from the other one but you can like it's and make noise it's uh, I feel like Muhammad now I hear voices hold on hold on what Jibril oh, hold on Jibril is talking to me what I will give you a verse or a chapter okay I'm really I'm listening first of all what is the name of the chapter the cappuccino cappuccino yes because it's made in Italy the cappuccino and what do you know about the cappuccino it contained two things cappa and chino and if you ask me what is made of I say to you no one knows except the one who made Kappa and Chino and praise be to Allah the one who made them together Cappuccino and I was like wow it's light there's something touched my tongue it's Cappuccino and this reminds me of different chapters called the chapter of pizza but I mean it tastes different to be honest with you thank you Allah for the inspiration even though my ear is not working good today but still I was able to hear the chapter of the Cappuccino and uh, this if you read the Quran chapter of the chair chapter of the elephant chapter of the spider chapter of the I mean it's like a zoo the cow right and again I want to say thank you for those who uh, donate and uh, if you if you can donate more to shaitan because he did pee in my ears you know because now shaitan he don't pee this is a donation of shaitan he pee you know so as long you are donating for me, what about you donate to Shaitan so he can find a toilet seat and he can go and pee somewhere else? I mean, this guy obviously he cannot find a toilet seat. So maybe if we can buy him a toilet seat, he can go and leave the Christian prince here alone. And look like Shaitan in my area.